Schick. Fancy. Schön leicht. Very light. Mine's got my name. Mine's got my name. Has oh yours? Wow. This one is mine now. I won't let anyone else have it. Attach the tip. That was easy, and it even recognizes it. The tip fits in the tube, which is great. Ah, yes, you don't have to hold it pressed down. Pressing once is sufficient. It also has a countdown function. That works very well. Two more. The last tube. All is gone. Perfect. Perfect. Which time intervals do you set between the individual pipetting steps? I set one second, so I don't have to hurry too much. I set 0.3. 0.5 seconds is just perfect. 0.3 is just okay. If the liquid is dispensed less quickly, it is better distributed over the entire well. There even is enough time to look around. Watch out, don't make a mess. No, everything's fine. So let's see how aspirating and dispensing works. Press the button. Okay, the display guides you through it very well. I don't even have any air bubbles. It's great. Speed 1 is very convenient with these small volumes. No effort is required to press this button. It's not strenuous at all. Ah, very good. Press twice to dispense the rest. Ready. Very well. Well, I don't usually work with the multi-pet very much, but it was very intuitive. I think the operation was altogether very easy, somehow self-explanatory, because in the display it is indicated what you're doing and what you have to do next. I also think that it's somewhat annoying to think about necessary services. When do I have to get the device calibrated again, for example? So the function that reminds you of these things is really great. The favorites function was my favorite. Normally you always have to pipette standard volumes, and being able to save five to six favorites really speeds things up. If I remember correctly, you can select nine different languages. That makes the device a very individual one. You can also enter your name and maybe even select your mother tongue. That's great. I very much like the fact that you can switch off the sound. There is enough beeping going on in the lab, so I think it's great you can switch it off. <laughs>